Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, Steam's announcement of the Steam Deck. I actually didn't hear about it until this morning, which is quite useful um, because they're going up for pre-orders today. Um, by sort of pre-orders, I guess, I really mean pre-registering your interest to be able to buy one. Not, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a weird sort of situation that they've that they've got, but... They're more seeing it as registering interest, and basically in the UK, you have to put down a £4 deposit of sorts, which then comes off the price of the console if you choose to buy it, but also um, allows you, well, depending on when you buy it, you are allocated as and when it becomes available. So we'll have a quick look through the page, the Steam page itself. And I'll just go through some of my thoughts on it. But generally, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty darn good. Probably by the time you see this, it will already have gone up for pre-register for the, you know, pre-register pre-order. I don't know what, don't really know what to call it. But um, yeah, in any case, so I'm actually sitting around waiting for it now because it's going live at 6 p.m. in the UK. So here you have it. it looks obviously very much like a Nintendo Switch crossed with a, a Steam box. Uh, one of the things I <clears throat> will say is I quite like the look of the Steam interface on this. I think it looks really um, appropriate for the console. I often don't think a lot of big picture mode and that sort of thing, but, you know, for this type of console, I think they've taken a lot from Nintendo, obviously. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. Do we even need to say that? Probably not. Um, so it's good. We've got the, the two bumpers at the back, and then we've got these two either side that are I presume reprogrammable buttons. I'm not massively keen on the placement of <laughs> um, the analog sticks and the buttons, but I guess without actually ha having a proper go of it, I can't say for certain what that's like. You've got two touchpads here, which I think is going to be really useful, obviously, for using your mouse for, for games that may not be 100% um, controller compatible, even though obviously they are going to run better. So we'll go through, I don't know if I'm on the, I think I'm on the right page. Um, so yeah, this is what I was talking about. It's going live at, at 10 a.m. Um, specific time, what the D is. Um, and yeah, which is 6 p.m. UK. So three different options. Uh, I suppose we'll go, go through that first. So 350 is your basic uh, option with a carrying case, which I guess is nice. <laughs> And 64 gigabytes of EMCC, EMMC, sorry, memory, which is effectively flash memory or, you know, um, similar to what you get in your thumb drives or the uh, micro SD cards. So it does have expandable storage. Um, the only difference between any of these devices, really, hardware wise, at least, is this. Um, I imagine that the memory, this internal memory is probably um, non-upgradable. So you are going to be relying on utilizing the micro SD card for, um, you know, further expansion and whatnot, but obviously won't be as quick. Although if you get, I don't know, it's difficult to, it's difficult to talk about the, to recommend, I guess, the 64 gig version because it, it's, it's not that it's unusable, but um, it just seems an oddity. It's almost like it, they've said it, they've done this so that they can sort of give it that, low price point i mean the difference between this and an mvme a 256 mvme is not 110 pounds you know um i imagine they're probably getting these at quite a good price especially as apparently this is this um the one for the the 512 gigabyte one is even faster so you know i imagine this is like a, a mid-range mvme and then this is something that is um that's always, by the way, it's, it's all Gen 3. So it will be up to like 33,000, no, 2,500 write, 3,000 read, I think, something like that. Which is probably what you're looking at for this. And you're probably looking at like a 15, 1,500 across both um, for the mid-tier one, I would expect. Which is, you know, still obviously plenty, but just worth sort of having to think about, I guess, if it's something you're interested in. I can't recommend the lowest one. This is This is the base. This is the basic one, and this is the advanced one in a sense. Um, you know, it's nice to get the extra storage inbuilt, for sure. Um, it's also got premium anti-glare etched glass. Don't really know the specs and all that sort of stuff on on that, but, you know, that is 
obviously going to be good for a handheld device and a better carrying case. So, yeah, you know, I'm not sure it's, to me, it's not worth the the upgrade from those two. I'm Like I said, I'm discounting the cheapest one on there. Um, even though the spec's really good for 350, it's just a shame that, you know, if you could add your own NVMe, then yeah, you, I would go for it. 100% I'd go for the cheapest one and buy myself a, a terabyte probably and stick it in there but anyway that's where we are so they are having their own custom APU which is actually really impressive uh, we'll go through some of the spec oh no we can go through some of the specs has it got the specs we can go I think we can go through the specs a bit a little bit later on um but yeah that's really impressive what they've done with that and it'll be interesting to see how it runs um, from their presentation video, it looks okay. Did notice some stutterings. Can't remember what they were playing now, though. But, um, yeah, it'd be worth having a look at that. And I do genuinely believe them when they say that it can run AAA games. Uh, honestly. Um, you know, with the RDNA 2 cores in there, so we're looking at something that's maybe um, below the PS5 in terms of actual raw power, but not um you know not like not substantially maybe like 25 percent. i'm just guessing <laughs> i don't know uh but yeah really cool to have access to the steam library uh, i should say even though it's got the steam os you can install any software on it so you could put windows 10 on it presumably windows 11 and install um gog or emulators heard one person talking about i can't remember what the emulators called for the nintendo switch but to put windows on it and then put that emulator on it and then all of a sudden you've got a nintendo switch uh, a nintendo switch pro i think is what they were making the jokes about uh, i don't know whether this is true i mean it looks fine it looks like a, a thumbstick but yeah i don't know we'll have to see uh the fact that you don't get a dock as part of it as an add-on is a little bit disappointing uh, I can understand the 351 not having a dock, for example. You know, that to me would be um, suitable. But, you know, then to not have a dock with the with the next, especially the highest tier one, I think that would, if it came with the highest tier one, came with a dock, I probably would go for that one. But um, from what I gather, Steam are not making much money on this, like with any of their hardware that they make. So that might be indicative as to why... Maybe this is coming a bit later on. They must be losing money on the 351, which is just bonkers, really. Um, so there's a bit of an, an FAQ, which I don't think I need to go through any of this. I mean, you can go on the Steam page yourself, obviously, and have a look. Um, yeah, I think that's that's everything. So oh, it's not got the spec on here, unfortunately. Let me... Um, yeah, okay, that's annoying thought it did it must be on the web page so okay i will share that with you now right so yeah so this is the actual its own bespoke web page streamdeck.com and hopefully so yeah you get a bit of a, a feel for what it can do this is obviously jedi the last order looks all right um the res the Graphics sort of look like medium, I must say, but that's what I would expect to see, even though it's only a, 20, a 720p screen. Um, I'm not sure like how it's going to work in terms of like moving the camera and stuff. Uh, this game seems to do it for you by the looks of it. I don't see a moving the other analog stick. So I, I can't say I've not played it. So more about hardware. Go on then, let's have a look. That's what I'm interested in. That's what I want to talk about. So it's designed for extended play sessions. Okay, well... Yeah, jury's out on that one for me. I'm not 100% uh, sold on how the buttons and stuff will go. We'll have to see. Hopefully, they're they're decent. Uh, like the you know seven inch touch screen, so same size as a Switch, I believe. Uh, the two trackpads are pretty good, I think. Um, you know that should be be pretty good. I'm not certain about it giving you a competitive edge when playing fast paced uh, FPS games. I think you're probably better off with the analog stick, in my opinion, based on stuff I've used previously. Uh, the fact it's got the dry rowing is is all right, I guess. It's not really going to help you too much. Usually it's more of a hindrance. Uh, but, yeah, you know, 
it's a little gimmick. Maybe someone can use it for, maybe some developer can use it for something at some point. Um, you know, this is the sort of thing you want. Like, this is the sort of thing where you'd be, be playing it. Uh, it looks like, oh, I don't know about the weight distribution. That's the thing, because there's a lot of pressure on the hands down here at the bottom. And I don't, it is curved, I guess, but I don't know. Once again, jury's out a bit on that. I think this is Crisis. Is it, is it Crisis or is it Halo? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I think it's Halo. Yeah, it is Halo. Anyway, <laughs> ignore me. Uh, so, yeah, this is just talking about the storage. It doesn't say, it only says it's expandable with an SD card, which you're going to need whatever uh, version of it you would likely to, likely to get. Um, audio, like I say, jury's out on that one. There's not really much I can get from that. 40 watt hour battery. So it did say, so it's maximum of 7 to 8, but it says that it's more 2 to 8. So AAA games, anything that maxes it out, 2 hours, uh, up to 7 or 8. Maybe with something like, you know, I think this would be really cool for like a, a football manager and stuff like that, I really do. And, you know, maybe sort of city builder games and that sort of thing I can see being really good on this, assuming that the hardware can can keep up. Uh, it's got a single USB-C, so you can do all the stuff you can do with USB-Cs. You could get some other, don't have to have their official dock, I shouldn't have thought. Um, and, you know, for your uh, RJ45 jack or headphones, whatever it is that you want to put in there. I think that's probably the right way to go. Also, you get the fast charge in there as well, which I believe it comes with a fast charger, so that's pretty cool. Um, wireless, I should have, I should hope so. <laughs> um, but the, being able to dock it, I think, is really cool. It's like having your own like laptop that you can take around and dock, but also using handheld mode. Um, the premise of it's really good. It's just whether the implementation is good, because there's nothing wrong with this um, theory or or um, setup. It's something that has been tried from you know quite a few companies and uh, just never really feels though it hits the mark. Hopefully Steam do a bit of a better job. I like really like this idea, fast suspend resume. So if you're playing something on your computer, you want to pick it up on your stream deck, um, you can like suspend the game on your computer and then start it back up from where you were on your uh, stream deck. Steam deck, sorry. That sounds really good to me, personally. Uh... I don't know what else there is. Yeah, users, obviously, you can dock it. Users PC. What's he playing here? Okay. Crusader Kings. He's actually, looks like he's got it. What, has he got Linux up there? Or is that how steep? I don't know what that is. Okay, well, in any case, it must be Windows. That looks really cool, I must say. Uh, okay, the idea of being able to hook up your, I don't know whether that's necessary. I don't know whether that's anything anyone would do. Surely you would just hook it up to a TV. Oh, you could go up TT as well. Yeah, sounds good. It's always nice. I mean, really useful because, you know, I uh, watch the Euros and for me to watch ITV on my main TV, I don't have an aerial or anything, I had to plug my laptop in in order to be able to stream it because Android TV doesn't, or my and my version at least, doesn't let you play uh, ITV live. So this would do that if it had Windows on it and everything else. Um Deck specs, I'm not really too keen about that. We'll talk a little bit through the hardware. I think that that's, that's the last sort of bit that's worth going through, I think. Uh, D-pad, we'll have to see. I obviously have to see what that's like. I don't think I really have too much else to comment on. It's all pretty standard fare. Like I say, you've got the two track pads as well, which will be interesting to see how they work overall. Um, we've got the fan, we've got the intake here, and then you've got your two extra buttons either side that can be programmed i've never really found stuff like that to be overly helpful but you know it's good to have the option as well so this is a real bit that interests me um we've got a obviously an amd apu this is zen 2 architecture so that's the going to be the 3000 series uh four cores eight threads so the 3008 four core eight thread is the 3100 and the 3300x uh, but it's only up to 3.5, so it's probably not even... A, might be a a slowed down 3100 or 33... Oh, I don't know what the specs are. I'll have to have a look. But yeah, it'll be something like that. And then 8 RDNA 2 CUs. So that is, like I say, comparable to a cut-down version of like a PS5 or a Xbox Series X. 
Um, obviously, they have got a lot more headroom in terms of power draw and also heat dissipation. So think about it more as really exactly that, a cut down main console, which is, in my mind, where probably Nintendo should have positioned their, their Switch. But anyway, so 16 gigabytes of L low profile DDR5 RAM. That's really nice to see. That's an not an excessive amount of RAM, but like incredible really for the size. It's DDR5, which um, I'm not overly sure if that would make too... Would I be upset if it was DDR4? I don't think so. I'm not sure that we're really going to see too much of an increase. It's Zen 2, anything over... Wow, well, it's 5,500. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, basically, this is this is the, like, megahertz, if you like, speed. The mega transfer is second. So, 5,500 is, in, you know, like a very good kit of ddr5 of course um or very or like an extremely good kit of ddr4 and yeah just confirming that the nvme is gen 3 so hopefully the middle middle option isn't gimped too badly <laughs> we'll have to see it's going to be okay though because it, it is an nvme and it's not a i'm trying to think what it's got an s a sata ssd so it's going to be faster it's going to be like i say it's going to be around the 1500 or so uh, read writes that sort of level of performance um yep yeah, high speed micro sd card slot so presumably we'll be able to get the 1900 megabyte second uh, sd cards working in there which is needed i would say if you want any sort of decent loading times and yep yeah, okay a 12 1280 12 by 800 screen so 10 16 by 10 aspect ratio. I think that's probably more suitable for something of that size. So it'll be a little bit more vertical than the Switch and will probably suit it a bit better, I think. Uh, so yeah, basically, we could argue the, the toss over it, but it's basically 720p and everything else, 60 hertz, 7 inch, 400 nit brightness is fine. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, you know, these spec, but I think the thing to remember is because it's so small as well, it's diminishing returns in terms of having higher pixel count. And also you've then got to drive those pixels. So I'd rather have something that can play AAA games at 720p than something that really struggles at 1080. And it sort of takes the option out of it away from you. So that's always good. Um, you can display out to 8K apparently at 60 hertz. Don't know how well that would run. Camera's gone off. That's great. <laughs> it's all right. I'm nearly finished. And uh, yeah, SteamOS 3.0. I think the last. I think I only used the 1.0 version back when that came out. So I imagine it's probably insanely better now. Although I haven't used Big Picture for a while either. Um, and it's Arc based rather than. Oh, come on, the other one was now. No, slip for mine. Begins with D, right? No. Okay. Ignore me. <laughs> oh, it does have a desktop, so maybe that's maybe this is the the KDE Plasma is that is the desktop that he was running it on rather than Windows. Looks very similar, but just of a different start button. And yeah, just talking about the dock. There's not going to be any extra performance through the dock or anything. I shouldn't imagine. Uh, probably, maybe even less performance, I guess, because you'll be driving more a higher pixel count. But it'd be interesting to see. The difference and if i get one that's sort of the thing i'll be one of the things i'll be looking at for this but yeah i don't think there's much else to say i'm pretty excited for it i guess uh, it's good to see you know bigger company having a go and ah, uh, i just hope it's not a waste of money <laughs> but other than that you know i think um even if i don't get one it'd be really interesting to see how they do can i spin it but I think, oh no, no, it's just going through the, the stuff, the grip buttons. I think, like I say, I think they'll be needed because, you know, limited options, limited screen space, and that sort of thing. But yeah, anyway, I'll be really interested to hear uh, your thoughts down below, what you think of it. I'm thoroughly impressed with the specs, actually. Uh, I know it's not a Zen 3, which would be much better if it was a Zen 3 CPU, but ultimately the GPU is going to be the, the issue anyway, whatever, even if they use Zen 1, I would have thought. So the eight CUs of RDNA two is is okay. Uh, you know, much I was thing about it is when I because when I first heard that it was going to be a AMD 
uh, APU, I was thinking, oh, it better not be Vega. Because if it's Vega, it's DOA, quite frankly. Dead on arrival. And, yeah, with it being RDNA2, it's got a chance, I think. So, yeah, you know. We'll see. We'll see. Right, guys, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think. And, yeah, see you all very soon. Bye for now.